welcome back. It is VR man time because there's apparently a bug, as far as I know, in VR. We don't know how it works quite yet, but there's something that causes you to get a lot of money if you play in VR. So we are going to be going to Asylum Professional alone, trying to get the maximum amount of money you can get in Phasmophobia. Hopefully we'll do it, and let's see if we can get more than 300 money. And how, m however much we can. Let's go. Here we are. What do we got? We got ourselves. Okay, this is actually John Smith. Nice. This is kind of the hardest uh, possible setup you have. Uh, ghost photo is the hardest in VR. It's kind of awkward. What are we going to do? I think I'm going to just run detection item for now. We can even do a thermo. Do we need a thermo? Spirit box? Let's do spirit box. I mean, we might as well do the thermo, why not? Okay, we're gonna do thermo. Thermo and EMF. John Smith Breaker is in the... Oh no, it's gonna be far, isn't it? Oh boy, it's to the left very far. So we're gonna go to the left very far first. John Smith is our ghost. Let's see if we can do a perfect game. Let's go. Hello. So all we need to do for a perfect game in VR so far we found is that we need to fill up the book as many photos as possible. Preferably fingerprints seems to be very, very strong in VR. Oh, I need to go to the other side, but that's fine. Um, and you need to get the bone, of course, because the bone is a separate money thing. If you don't get the bone, you can't get perfect. So that's going to be our main thing. Getting the bone is going to be a little hard, but besides that we should be golden. Unless it's a rev and we die, that would be kind of sad. Alright, let's turn on the breaker. Hello, John! How you doing? VR is scary, VR is kind of... Monka. Uh, April Fool's Day, thank you for the three months. Hello, John? Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa? Eating sugar? No, Papa? Hello? John? Yeah, this is a little bit more creepy. Can't hear anything. Is the breaker in here? Is that a boulder or a booster? Okay, booster. I need to not hit anything. Where's the breaker? Hello, John? It's over here. Okay. Right? Yes. Okay, now we have light. John Smith, where are you? Hello. John? I'm gonna find John first before we start looking for the bone or anything. He's not here. I'm gonna go upstairs. It's probably upstairs to the other side. Warren Souls, thank you for the three months. So yeah, there's a lot of things you can do in VR that are kind of busted. You can um, put the, the my favorite, personal favorite, is putting the board, the Ouija board, in your inventory, which you can't do in non-VR. That's pretty cool. You can take photos really easily through lockers. So if you're in a locker and the ghost is like in front of you, you can just pu push your hand through the, the door and then just take a ghost photo. <laughs> That's really fun. Uh... What else? You can carry four items compared to uh, three, which is also busted. Hello? Yeah, long story short, VR is pay to win, <laughs> basically. Did I hear anything? Hello, John? Oh, you can do belt candle and you don't drop any sanity. Yeah, we could do that. It's kind of OP too. 
This is more of a showcase of how busted VR is, so we might as well do that. It's probably gonna get fixed though, in case you're watching this and you're like, holy shit, you should try to do it now because I don't think DK is gonna let VR be this broken for long. <laughs> I top that. Hello? I mean, you still have to play in VR, so I guess in a way it's balanced. If you don't, if VR is too scary. So yeah, that's the, that's the trade-off. But the thing with VR though is that you can do a team with one VR player and then ev the entire team gets insane money. And one person has to play VR. So if you have a VR friend, milk them. Try to get as, in as many games as them with them as possible. Because VR gives you so much money right now. It's really weird. I don't know how it came to be. That is definitely an EMF ghost. There's just no way. So, this is already looking like potential Monka S. That's not good. We haven't found him yet, though. I'm not going to carry this around anymore. Hopefully, we get Spirit Box instantly. That would be better. Let's go to the other side now. And let's put a... We could also just do EMF. Let's do EMF and a candle on the belt. Don't do that. Just for, there we go. Candle on the belt for sanity. It's probably gonna go out though. Hello? John? I'm gonna turn on some lights. I feel like it's to the right here. Because that's it has been doing things and we haven't really heard anything. This is much nicer in VR. It used to be super fiddly to get the lights to work because they were really close together, but now not anymore. Ready, John? Any door here? This is pretty creepy, though. I gotta say. Hello. Hello. Yeah, if it is a rev, I guess it's earned. Earned perfect game. Oh, is that door open? Yeah, baby. Hello. Well, hello there. Warm welcome, I see. How are you feeling today, John? Freezing? Uh, I didn't think so. Okay, well, we're gonna place this. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Woo! Okay. Let's go. I wish I had the photo cam. <laughs> oh no, winter. This is very dark. I don't see anything. What the fuck? Why did I do this? This was such a bad idea. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Just bashing my head against the wall. There we go. That's where I wanted to go. <laughs> okay. It's very dark. It's kind of creepy. Almost at the truck. There we go. I don't know why the, this way. Flying cam. So, we are at 69% sanity. Very nice. We got ourselves John Smith. Again. Let's go bring in the spirit box. Spirit box, ghost writing book, fingerprints, very important, and a video cam. Might as well. Flying tripod, double tripod flying. Very nice. More VR bugs for you. It's a little bit finicky. Okay, here we are. 
Beautiful. It's dark, I know. <laughs> We're good now. Is it scary in VR? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's not... It's just certain situations. Like, a hunt is really scary in VR because it's... Sometimes it's hard to hide. Wait, where did my item go? What was I holding in this hand? Was it... Hello? Okay, then. I don't know. <laughs> Bye. Yep. I thought I was holding a UV, but I guess not. Hello there, ghost. I should have taken a cam, but that's fine. We're gonna just try to get knowledge on you ASAP, so we know that you're either a rev and we have to be very careful. Oof. That's a candle. Look at that shadow. Look how sharp the shadow is of such a small. <gasps> how old are you? How old are you? Adult. Adult? Woo! Hug me. Jesus. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Adult is really good. Because that means... It's probably a Jin or an Oni, which means writing or orbs. So let's go. Whew, I'm gonna grab this. Fuck, fuck, don't no, going in the dark. No, no, no. You guys are here, right? Yes. Not a rev, very nice. We don't know spirit, we don't know EMF yet for sure, but it's very likely. You were hoping for a rev? You guys are mean. Revs are really- Oh, what?! This fucking hide and seek challenge? Alright, whatever. Uh, it can't even be that if it's EMF, which, look at that. Again, very high spikes. Are we gonna see orbs? Is it a gin? It's very acting kind of ginny. Definitely not acting oni. Oni e. <laughs> oni e. Hmm. Hmm. Is it gonna be an oni? That's a pretty impressive oni if it is. I'm kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna grab this. What do we need for objectives? We need a motion sensor. Good stuff. Let's go. Uh, we also need... Yeah, the tripods are flying. Don't ask me why. Actually, I need this. I need a photo cam because it's been showing itself a lot and we need a photo. So let's do it. It might be... Hunting soon. Which is not great, but at least we can test ourselves some, uh, gin. What? Oh! Let's go do that. Hey there, boy! Chop chop! Come at me, bitch! John? 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 You wanna stand in the dark, guys? Is this scary? You like this? Oh! Come here. Come here. Hello! Touch doors. Touch all the doors. Oh, you stopped hunting. I don't think it's zooming. I think this is actually, if it's fingerprint or if it's uh, EMF, which is probably is. It's not fingerprints. I don't think so. Well, we can check. This is a pretty impressive Oni. I gotta say. Like I'm, I'm. I respect this guy. <gasps> Holy fuck yo! Oh my god! Uh, I respect this guy. Holy shit! He found the bone for us, dude. Don't even have to do it. 
That's so nice. Holy shit. That was like the one thing we had to do to get perfect. Holy shit. Let's go get it. Boop. Nice. Well, that means that this can be a perfect game if we do not die. Which is very nice. Boner time. Is it here? It's not here. So it's been touching these doors, but I don't see any fingerprints on them. So I'm thinking it's definitely not fingies. Yep, touching it again. That door? Wait. Oh. Thank you for- this ghost is just too kind. Almost suspicious. Did you write in the book? Of course she did! And that! Holy fuck, John! I love you. I do! John! Come here, buddy! Holy shit! John, you're the best. John is fucking nice. Alright, I'm going. I'm gonna go get myself another cam and another book so you can write in it and show me how I need to die and stuff. Beautiful. John is a beautiful man. John the generous ghost. So now we have this. Interaction, bone, ghost, inter- This is actually sick. We don't have to find- So, in case you're like watching this and you're thinking like, wait, how is this gonna be a perfect game? You're not even gonna get the board. What are you, some kind of noob? No. VR is busted at the moment and you can- I don't know if it has to do with fingerprints. This- we're gonna find out right now if you can get it without fingerprints. Basically, if you fill up the book with photos in VR, as far as we've seen, you always get perfect game. It's really stupid. Um, so let us test that. Can I leave? Okay. We need only motion sensor and then fill up the book. So that's gonna be it. We're gonna grab this. We're gonna grab another photo cam. And I'm gonna grab a lighter, I guess. Mm, how can I smudge? I can't bring a smudge stick if I want the book. So I guess we're gonna keep this. The lighter for the... Or crucifix, how about that? What evidence is it's an Oni? Which is- this guy is like actually the most respectable ghost. For me right now, it is an Oni, which is usually very passive in solo play. And it's doing so much stuff. Which is really respectable. And... It's- it gave us like all of the bone. It opened the door to the boner. That's just insane. I've never had a ghost this nice. I think that I could legit hug him in a, hu in a hunt and he wouldn't even kill me. That's how nice he is. I'm not gonna try though. <laughs> Alright, hello. Ooh, okay, well that's a little bit... Not nice. That's a little bit rude. I'm gonna run. Hey John, what's up man? Good to see you. How you doing buddy? How are the kids? Oh, they're dead? That's unfortunate. Can you come here? I have a motion sensor over here. Oh. Come here! Touch the motion sensor, baby! Help me! Do it! Touch it! Hello? Oh! John, please! John, don't do it. Okay, nice. Thank you, John. He wanted to follow me- Dinky! Hey, thank you for the two months. He wanted to follow me to the motion sensor! Look how nice he is! Dinky, you're watching history, by the way. We're gonna- <laughs> I mean as much. That doesn't really count, but still, it counts for me. Alright, uh... What are we doing? We need photos. So what do we have right now? We have ourselves the ghost. We know it's what it is, so we're gonna put that in. We know it is writing, which makes it an Oni. We have 
bone, which is what we needed. Interaction, interaction, ghost. Now all we need to do is fill up the rest of the book, which is six photos, with good photos, which is mostly going to be interactions, as far as uh, we're concerned. And or foot footsteps. Wait, that's OP. Let's do footsteps. That's way easier. Yeah, let's go. All right. Don't hunt me now. Don't hunt me now. Hey! You're making me salty. I'm going to take some pills. Fuck this. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> That's what Phobia is the best game ever made. <laughs> Taco da Don, thank you for the five good subs. Hey, John, you coming? Thank you so much, Dakota. All right, time for pills. I didn't want to do it to you, John, because you were really nice, but if you're going to keep train hunting me, I'm going to have to do it to you. Here we go. We are now at a respectable 92 sanity, which means the John has just been got. Gonna bring some salt and stuff. Crucifix might as well. And uh, here we go. Is the power on? Or did you turn it off, John? Let's see. Poof, poof, poof. Poof. Let's see. There is no light, so you turned it off, but we don't need that. So we're bringing the salt so we can get footstep photos, which is the easiest way to fill up your book. If you are playing VR at the moment, you want to do this, which, if you have a VR friend, play with them, I, I, t I tell you, and you'll get a perfect game basically every time you play Remotely Decent. So if you want to get some money right now before they fix this, this is the way to do it. <laughs> Dakota, thank you for converting your sub. Wait, it's not here. I have no friend- Pepe hands. All right, we're dropping this here. Oof. We're, uh, let's just turn on this light. Oh, wait, there's no light, Never mind. Uh, what do we need? I think we just need this. Just drop, boof, boof, boof. So we have the salt on the floor. I'm gonna grab the UV light. This is my cam, my one that still has one. And now we just need to wait. Can you help us with some feed, John? I'd like to see your feet. John? Can you give me a sign? Can you step in the salt? Johnny? Oh, there we go. Can you give me feet? Do it. Do it. As soon as he does that, I'm gonna akimbo my photo cams. Well, that. What did you just throw? You threw the candle! I can take a photo of that. Thank you. Ooh. That works. That's a photo. Nice. All right, salt time. Here we go. Feet. See those beautiful chomp stompers? We're gonna take photos of that. Boom. 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 Okay, that should be enough. Okay, footsteps, that should be. Okay, we need two more. I'm not gonna do these because I feel a little bit unsafe doing it now. There's still one salt pile over there. Can you step in that, please? So I can take the last two photos. That is the only thing, the only thing that non-VR has over VR is the ability to toggle your flashlight or your uh, camera in your inventory, uh, bring it back up, then take another photo. You can basically take photos rapid fire in, in non-VR. 
That is the only thing that VR has go that non VR is going for it compared to VR. So yeah. Can you give us a sign? Can you show yourself? Tap. Can you step in that salt over there? I'm gonna grab the other salt. And the book. Here we go. This one, give that to me. Oh, give that to me. And then there was salt over here somewhere where I dropped it. <laughs> Remember that? There we go. Hello there. This is pretty nice. I hope this is gonna be perfect. I hope you don't need fingerprints for this, but maybe we do. But if the, if this is not gonna be perfect, I know exactly what it is. Something with fingerprints is broken in VR. But I think it's gonna work. We'll see. Any more tricks we know of VR? I mean, you can set up items really easily. You can set them up straight. Oh. Um, there's obviously some game-breaking glitches you can do, like glitching on top of items with certain set, certain applications, but I don't consider that to be intended, so I don't... That's not something I consider to be a benefit to VR, because obviously you can cheat any way you want <laughs> if you really don't want to play the game for some reason. Because, yeah, cheating is dumb, but VR is just busted by default. <laughs> There's not much you can do about it if you play VR and all this stuff just falls in your lap. You can set up cams uh, in strange places. You can basically just orient any item in any way you want, which is kind of nice. You can you can even... I made a video about this. You can even build stuff. I built castles in VR. Oh. I built a castle in VR with items. I did dominoes in VR with items as well. <laughs> There's so many things you can do. Can you give me feet? Or write in the other book. We only need one more writing. Do it. Okay, you give us a sign, John. John Smith. Give me, baby, one last sign. Do it for me. <gasps> Woo! Well, that's a nice sign. That's also writing. Here! Catch! He didn't catch. Okay. Well, we're good. Let's get out of here. Nice. Now, if all goes well, we are gonna be world's first recorded perfect game in Phasmophobia. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Obviously, I wouldn't consider this to be the legit first game, but it's just a proof of concept. You gotta break the game to fix the game. You have to break it and then show it to DK and then he goes like, that's not supposed to work this way, and then he fixes it. So my job is to break the game and then DK fixes the game. <laughs> This is, this is like yin and yang. The circle of life, baby. Alright, let's see. Yeah, there we go. We got ourselves. Look at this book. So, if you have any knowledge... I made a guide on this, how it works exactly. If you have any knowledge on the photos. The order of photos, priority, is ghost, gives you the most points. Then bone, then the Ouija board, and then fingerprints which you can take multiples of, so you want to fill your book with fingerprints if you can. Then interactions or footsteps. Footsteps and interactions are the same. However, you there's a one in a million chance, by the way the code works for non-VR, if you take footstep, fo if you take the board, the bone, the ghost, and only seven footsteps or seven interactions after, there's about a one in a million chance you get a perfect game. However, in VR, there's some kind of bug, whatever it is, that is causing you to get a lot more points for your photos. So if you have a VR friend, you can let them take the photos. I don't know if you ha if the VR friend has to take the photos, I'm not quite sure. But if they take the photos, or, or if there's a VR friend, you are much more likely to get a perfect game. This should never give us a perfect game. However, as we're going to see right now, it is probably going to be 385, I think, in terms of money. Which is, let's see. We did everything we could. We got the bone, all the stuff, Oni. Let's see. Fingers crossed. Okay. 
Boom! There you go. 385. World's first. Perfect game. Oh, clean. Look at that. 45 is for Asylum. 10 for Objective 2, 3, and 4. The bone insurance is because we're playing solo, which is why you have to do this solo to get the perfect score. And then 40 is just because somehow VR is just broken right now. You get a lot more money for that. So, we did it. This is it. It's the, the, the thing we've been seeking for. <laughs> this thing has been long awaited. I mean, it... Ultimately, once they patch this, this doesn't really count anymore. But until then, feel free to get yourself a perfect game. Put that on your resume. I got a perfect game in Phasmophobia. So yeah, beautiful. You can do this on every map now. I think the maximum on a medium map is... You get 30 for that, so that should be 1545 less. So it should be 340 on a medium map. And on a small map, it's uh, 280, right? So yeah, if you want to get yourself this score, which is the ultimate score, you can you can get more. There's people in the comments always that said, No, yeah, but that one time I got a thousand. That's if you die. If you die and you lose, and you lose all your money that you put in, you get part of that money back, which is what insurance is usually for. That doesn't count. You can't just say, Hey, I died and I and I got my money back and I got a thousand. That doesn't that's not that's not that's not how that works. So yeah. <laughs> This is the maximum amount of money you can get. Legit. They're probably going to fix this. I don't know what the bug is behind the scenes that is causing VR to give you so much money. But anyway, I thought I'd show you. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers that I have on my hand here. And that are here in chat above me. You can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim. Every single day at 7pm Central European time. That is where we are. Beautiful. I need to take a screenshot of this, though. Need to press my F12 key. Here we go. Screenshot time. Boof. I misclicked. Oh, never mind. I did. Beautiful. Oh. That's sexy. Alright, and... 300 experience. Look at that. I'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. Love you.